Okay, today we're going to bust a myth that's been out there for some time, and uh, it has to do with how to control objectionable currents. As you know, we've been talking to you that the key to grounding, bonding, and shielding is controlling objectionable currents. That's what it's all about. Isolation is also one of the ways that we do that. Now, what I'm going to do so that you'll know with my shoes, and, and yeah, by the way, don't do this at home. I've been told to tell you that. Do not do this at home, don't do it at work, don't do this anywhere, unless you for sure know how to handle and control objectionable currents. Because if you do, it could be very devastating to you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm also, for those who think that I'm uh, unbalanced or I got something on my feet or whatever, I'm gonna take the drill, and I'm gonna take a drill that is live, that's running, and I'm gonna put it in the water. I also don't have any shoes on, so I'm barefooted, right here and so let's see what it does let's see if this will or will not shock me okay so we're going to do it we're going to take it in here take the drill in As you can see i'm all the way in the water pretty much okay we're going to have a loop I need to run some of the water out of there a little bit before it starts pouring so i kind of wanted you to see that that is kind of a myth, and you're probably wondering how in the world did he do that? Well, if you think that's something, we're going to see this when you uh, try to figure out how we're going to take an electric light bulb, which I'm plugging it into an AC outlet that's 120 volts. We're going to take this bulb. We're also going to stick it in there as well. And as you can see, I got my hand all the way in and all the way out my feet. In case you want to see it, my feet are barefooted. I am barefooted. So, the question is, how do we do this? Let's cut it off. How do we do that? It's simply by isolation. We isolate the circuit. Again, we isolate objectionable current. When the current gets in the water, for example, or whether it's in building steel, or whether it's in an enclosure, or wherever it's at that I don't want it to be, I've got to either isolate it, I've got to ground it, bond it, or shield it. Those are the ways that you do it. Those are the ways that you control it. The way to do that, the way to know how to do that is understand the theory or the purpose or the reason behind why we do grounding, bonding, shielding, and of course, isolation. Okay, hope this helps you out. Thanks.